Why, hello there, my beautiful friends of the internet. My name is Muzzles, and welcome back to another video and to another commentary. Now, I'm currently at my mom's work, and um, my mom, she works for my aunt and my uncle. It's like a family business type of deal, you know. And um, my aunt is currently sleeping in her house because, like, we, because, like, the work, it's like a little mini building, and it's like right beside, like, my aunt's house. So it's kind of hard to explain, but, you know, until you guys see it one day in a vlog or something, you guys will know what I'm talking about. But, my mom has to go down the road to deliver like a wreath because she makes wreaths, you know, for like a part-time job thing. So I pretty much have the workplace to myself, so I find find this, you know, the best time to make a uh, to kind of make a video, you know. So, um, you know, today what I want us to uh, kind of talk about is a life story. Now, um, I don't really never done one of these before, like once I think back on one of my older channels, and you know, I find it very neat how we're gonna do it today. So. Um, you know, this story takes place back when I was around 10, maybe 11 years old. If you guys are wondering, I'm currently 14 and I will be 15 this July. By the way, I'm a freshman in high school. Had to say that. But, you know, um, okay, so what it was is that my friend Devin, he was actually at my house um, on a, it was either a Friday evening or a Saturday evening after school. Now, you know, uh, me and this guy named Devin, we don't go to school together. He lives like 40 minutes away from me, but his grandma lives right behind, um, lives right behind, right behind my house. So, you know, on the weekends he would come down to his grandma's house, and me and him would just hang out, and that's kind of how we met. Um, and he is a year older than me. Like, I've always kind of like looked up to him, but then I finally kind of went through puberty, and now we're kind of both, you know, the same size. So, uh, you know, um, back in the day, you know, when he was way bigger than me, I like looked up to him so so much. But now we're about the same size. So, um. So pretty much what he dared me to do is that, okay, I had this BB gun in my hand and uh, you know, he, he dared me just to randomly point at our neighbor's house and just to randomly shoot the BB gun, which, you know, oh, you're a bad boy. I mean, that, that doesn't really sound like something too intense, but you know, you, you've got to remember that, you know, this house that I was about to shoot this random BB bullet at, like, like these this is old people live here and these old people are very very mean so it wasn't like uh, I mean these these people were just straight up buttholes I'm telling you that they, they smelled so bad they were old they were so so just God, I don't know I wish I had a really good synonym for what I'm trying to explain here but it, or adjectives what I meant to say but it's just God the, these old people were just buttholes that were jackasses is, is my point so you know <laughs> Um, it was idiotic for me to do it, but I caught back the BB gun, randomly shot at the house, and then it wasn't but like, what, 10 seconds after I had shot the uh, BB is when like this old grandma came outside. She started hollering at us both. Me and my friend just turned around, walked inside, and I've got to admit, um, me and him both were pretty shaky because, you know, this is an old lady and, you know, she has the ability to call the cops and to get us in trouble, but um, thankfully she, she didn't do that. But, two years down the road, she actually did call the cops on us, and that's going to be our next story. So, you know, uh, let me know down below in the comment section if you guys want to hear the next story. What it is actually is, um, friends and I, we, we actually borrowed, um, th this, okay, so this grandma has a, uh, this grandma has a grandson, and his name was Mark. And we borrowed Mark's, uh, scooter, but Mark lied and say, but Lord, oh my gosh, Mark lied and said that we didn't borrow it. He said that we stole it, even though we did it, because it was it's kind of hard to explain. But we actually got the cops called on us, and it was it, it got real. So um, let me know down below if you guys want to see that live story next. And uh, yeah, so um, hopefully this live story was pretty entertaining, and pretty good. I've never done one of these before, but hey, man, you know every legend has its beginning. Um, you know every everybody has to have a start, whether it's good or bad. And hopefully I'm going to try to improve these videos over time as time. 